Dave Hansen was the epitome of a professional hitter, leaving his mark in Major League Baseball as a pinch hit specialist across 15 years in the big leagues, including 11 with the Dodgers. After coaching in the majors for seven years, he's now focused on youth baseball, passing on his knowledge to the next generation. Our Chris Harry visited a camp in uh, downtown San Clemente to find out more. Hometown Hero, sponsored by Rotolo Chevrolet. You guys ready? All right, let's break group one to the corner. Group four stays here. 15 year career playing, coaching major and minor leaguers. What's the biggest difference between coaching a pro yeah. and coaching a 13 or 14 year old? Uh, pros are still young kids at heart, you know, they just have been playing baseball longer. The biggest difference really is going from a mechanical um, mindset. They're still learning their swing, they're learning, they, they don't have a baseball personality yet, you know, and baseball identity. And we're going to move back into the ball, make sure that you're centered, right, so that you can lead arm to the ball. When do you think that switch flip for you that, hey, I can give back yeah. to, the, to the next generation of players? I think the last couple years of my career, where I went from the young guy to the uh, old guy, the veteran guy on the end of the bench, um, when the young guy started asking me questions and then I had answers for him, I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe I learned something here. Their barrel's ready to strike. So they may, they may catch it deeper than they wanted to, but it's still going to be on the barrel. That's the concept. Or if they're on out in front, they can still fight to stay through it too. We have to have some some adjustability on both sides. There's so much to mold, right? At, at a young age, how rewarding is it for you to see? Because how long have you been coaching youth? You know, probably 12, 13 years now. It's, it, you know, after I retired, I just, uh, you know, wanted to get involved with the youth. And um, it's a challenge, you know, it's, it, it, it's humbling to be able to um, break it down so that a youth can understand it. I really want to feel ourselves in the ground, right? So instead of being narrow, where we can kind of tip. Let's make sure we got a better base. Well, baseball is, is such a tough sport and hitting the ball is probably one of the toughest of all sports. And uh, to have him break down the fundamentals of, of the swing and teach us some hidden mechanics and teach the kids just some, some simple drills that are really gonna change their, their future. Turn it over, throw in. So really mimicking that release of the top hand barrel, right? It's so inspiring for these kids. You know, they walk away just feeling good, and I think that's what Dave does really well as a hidden instructor, and I think that's why he's had so much success across the board from working with the Angels, the Dodgers, and for USA Baseball. He just knows how to make the players feel really good in their skin. We're not trying to be perfect. Um, we want to be consistent, right? The great baseball players were just consistently good for a long period of time. Right? They make mistakes too. This next generation of baseball players, where do you think we are? They're doing a lot more things that, you know, I learned as a pro. You know, they just, they have access to it. Um, you know, they have the technology that the pros are using. They're just, that you know, they're gonna be better. It, it really is, and so, because they're playing a lot more um, with that understanding at a younger age. And you know, Beto, a lot of our young people are going to be much better off because of Dave Hansen. Yeah, Dave Hansen, born in Long Beach, went to Roland High School. And one thing about Dave Hansen, he's always been one of those that's been ahead of the curve when he was a hitting coach with the Dodgers or the Angels or the Giants. And using the analytics, using the video, using the whatever resources that you have, but teaching. It's one thing to have the knowledge and nothing to have the tools. But if you can't get your words out, it doesn't matter. And he's a great teacher. You hear a lot of his former players talk about how he was an educator for them. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad I've used this analogy before. I'm so glad that he's doing it because if he didn't, that would be knowledge wasted.